The Prince George's County Health Department confirms one person has been found with West Nile virus in Hyattsville. The Laurel Department of Public Works wants people to know some of the precautions they can take to prevent mosquitoes from biting them. One thing that people can do is tip it or toss it. So if there's water on this surface, just like there is right now, all someone has to do is tip it and toss it. And that's the easiest, least toxic, natural way to, um, to prevent uh, mosquito breeding. The mosquito has everything it needs to now grow into an adult mosquito. Michelle Blair, liaison for the Mosquito Control Program with the Department of Public Works in Laurel, explains that tip it or toss it is just one of the preventative measures someone can do in their backyards to ward off mosquitoes or disrupt their lifestyle. This, if it's left undisturbed, can in fact become a breeding ground. So what you do, and you don't see it because again, it's not a lot of water, is that you just toss it, just tip it. If you have um, old bottles or old uh, children's toys, uh, plastic ones that you don't want anymore, toss it. So it's that constant movement of the water that will prevent the mosquitoes from becoming adults. So far, one person and a mosquito this year have been infected with the West Nile virus. West Nile virus is a mosquito transmitted virus. Symptoms include severe headaches, fever, disorientation or sudden weaknesses. The Maryland Department of Agriculture crews spray mosquitoes as needed in the city of Laurel. It only affects the insects that come out at night. The spray that the, that the MDA does on Sundays are specific to the mosquitoes that come out in dusk and dawn. They're the nighttime mosquitoes. They do not, or they're not very effective over the uh, Asian tiger mosquitoes because, again, the Asian tigers come out when you're out. If there's something to eat, they will come out. And that's what distinguishes them from your dusk and dawn mosquitoes. Besides tip it or toss it and mosquito spraying, there are other preventative measures that can be taken. If you're out working, you wear, um, you know, long pants, light clothes. I go over to like the secondhand stores and I get men's uh, shirts, um, you know, the cotton ones, you know, the real big ones. And I just put that over my clothes and when I'm working out in the yard and it prevents like poison ivy, <laughs> getting poison ivy on you, it prevents mosquitoes, ticks, all that good stuff. And then, you know, you don't have to worry about it. You spent like a buck or two bucks and you can just, you know, throw it away at the end of the season. Blair says, if you live in a townhouse like this one, if your neighbor doesn't follow these precautionary measures like you do, then the mosquitoes might end up in your backyard. They need water, they need food, and if you can tell, see there's all grass and leaves and that's nutrients to them. So that's, that's what they need to grow. While someone has been found to be infected in Hyattsville with the West Nile virus, it should be noted that no one in Laurel currently has this disease. For Laurel TV, I'm Keisha Butts.